Hello, everybody. How are you? I'm at a wild jungle. Got a little place to sit. I've been walking all along, experiencing this vibe, tranquility, all across. And I felt the sheer need to share this absolutely wonderful information with every one of you. Now look at this road that I have driven. So, so calm and serene. Absolutely brilliant. An amazing place. Filled with absolutely a natural habitat, as you can see. Wonderful. As wonderful as it sees. <laughs> so in this jungle, when you're there, you get very, very closer to the nature. You become very, very close to the vibrancy that the space has to offer. And you also get deeply connected to yourself. And over the years, I've been connecting deep into myself and uh, with enormous and incredible sense of grace. I begin to understand the importance and the very immediate need to dehypnotize ourselves from the codes which have been established by the society. There is a deep embedded program which has been established or infused within us, has been deeply installed within us. And as soon as we uninstall these programs, as soon as we uninstall these meta codes, which really suppresses our ability to express and live a life on how we choose to live life it's very difficult to experience joy because this world is filled with an expectation to fulfill the aspirations of the economic engine of the industrial engine and somewhere what they consider it to be as a great lifestyle is what we often ask ourselves i'm not against luxury I travel my luxury toy and many of my videos have shared this. I love being in good places. I'm a leadership coach. I do workshops with eminent people. I do have various kinds of digital products. But what I also want to convey is if you don't have any of these also, it's perfectly fine. Your value should not be determined on the basis of all of these things. Like my value is not determined on the basis of all of these things. I feel good. I feel deeply connected to myself. And as an extension, whatever I want to get, I do it with very little effort. Fueling of grace. So this whole thing of doing things that you don't like, which has been established by the society, where people say that success happens to those who do things that they don't like, to call a vicious trap as success is the greatest injustice that anybody can do to themselves. And that is exactly what's happening today. People are calling the vicious trap set by the nature as success. No, the vicious trap set by the nature is never to be looked at as success. Because when you look at the vicious trap set by the nature as success, you lose your ability to feel good for yourself. You lose your ability to feel nice for yourself. You lose your ability to feel enthusiastic. You lose your ability to experience life. You lose your ability to feel wonderful. And that is something which you all have to literally think this moment. Because if you do not think, you are missing on life. And when you miss on life, what you will have is a treasure of misery and what are you going to do with this treasure of misery it's only going to open up the pandora box of problems so ladies and gentlemen as i gently feel good i gently walk through 
I gently experience the nature and I walk with utmost sense of humbleness. I want to share with every one of you a very, very vibrant and amazing possibility which every one of you is capable of. Think for yourself. Do not waste this life living somebody else's dream because when death comes to you, which it will, death will come to everybody in this planet. And when it comes, we must be able to transit this world in a very gracious way. Otherwise, it's not a life which is worth living. Your life is only blessed when you know devotion and love. And to know that, it is very, very important to dehypnotize yourself. Otherwise, you'll never ever be able to experience the true joy and vibrancy eternally or as you are alive. Good day. Stay blessed. This is Karthik Poo and I'm, I'm a leadership coach and author. Have a great day.